Hey everyone, so the best motorcycle trailer ever. I know that's saying a lot, but I'm going to lay out my arguments for the Aluma MC1F. Coming up. So, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I actually filmed most of this video a couple days ago. A buddy of mine was having a little trouble with his bike so instead of risking damaging it riding at home he asked if I could help him out and we did. Um, that is the video that's coming up but if you're just looking for the specs on this trailer I'm gonna put them at the end of the video but I will go ahead and do a uh, time link in the description so if you just want to shoot to the end and take a look at the uh, actual specifications and features of this trailer feel free to do that. Rather you sit and watch the whole video we're going to pull it out of here. I'm going to show you the setup. I'm going to show you the strap down method that I use. And uh, we're going to do the practical use as we go and then pick up my buddy's bike and uh, then get it back to his place for him. So uh, enjoy the video. And if you do, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know what trailer you like. You know, this may not be, be for you. Um, maybe you're into more of the enclosed trailers. Um, one of my uh, criteria for a trailer was I wanted something I could pull with just about anything. And you're going to see in the video what I've actually pulled this trailer using. Um, so that kind of eliminated the enclosed trailers for me. And I wanted something I could store in the garage. That's how I came up with this. And also uh, hit that subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. That really helps us out. Thanks a lot. Hey everyone. Yeah, I've been uh, wanting to do this video for a while regarding a motorcycle trailer that I bought uh, about a year ago. Um, now I know there's a lot of riders out there that... <laughs> live by the uh, never trailer your bike anywhere but I'm telling you there's always always a need for a trailer every once in a while especially if you're like traveling with the family and you want to tag the bike along so that you can get some riding time in it works out perfect so I did a lot of research spent a lot of time on YouTube looking for the perfect motorcycle trailer for my needs and I am by no means a spokesperson for this particular company um, but uh, this is what I ended up getting um, I actually bought a used one um, but they, from what I can tell, are still making this trailer by the exact same specs today. Um, and it is actually buried back in there. Um, and that was one of my criteria that I wanted for a motorcycle trailer. I needed it to be a folding trailer that I could store against the wall in the garage. Also gives me an opportunity to store it when I'm out on the road somewhere. I can stand it up on end, back my car up to it, strap it with a chain to the... Uh, trailer hitch assembly and 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 know that it's uh, secure so anyhow first thing I got to do though is get all of this crap organized so that I'm gonna do first and then I'll pull this trailer out and show you guys what it's all about Everybody has seen on the other videos. Always crisscross your crisscross your chains. That way, if it does come off of here, the theory is that this crisscross will catch your neck of your trailer and not drag the ground. So the trailer stands on end. It has casters, which are really great for just wheeling it around. You saw when I pulled it out, I was able to do it by myself, no problem. Even though it's almost 400 pounds when you're just bringing it down it's not not even half that so it's not bad at all um, basically the way this guy works is you just pop these pins and then there's a safety latch up here to loosen that and that's it and it just unfolds it's pretty much big enough for any standard size cruiser full dresser um, this particular model, the MC1F, I think is too short for your choppers and stuff. Um, but the MC10, which is the standard version of the same trailer, it's not the folding version, is actually longer. And that one, depending on the size of your chopper, would probably fit that. But again, my need was to have something that I could fold up and put in the garage. So that's why I ended up with this one. Um, it carries my Harley no problem. We've taken it 
up to Tennessee through the mountains. And yes, if you've seen as the camera's panning, I did pull it to Tennessee and back with the damn Toyota Prius. As much as you might want, want to laugh about that car, that is a workhorse. Almost 200,000 miles on it, and that car has never let me down. And uh, that's what we're going to pull it with today. All right, so we got the trailer hooked up, and we're going to go ahead and give it a practical use. Um, go help my buddy who's broken down up the road here. Just timing is everything, I guess. Um, we're going to get his bike loaded up if he needs it. If he doesn't have it running by the time we get there, we're just going to go ahead and load it up and get it back to his house for him. So uh, let's get this trailer folded up and get out of here. And that's how easy it works. Just roll it right up in there, push it up as far as you can in the chalk there. But we'll, we'll strap it down anyway. You need to push it forward, or you got it. Uh, no, you good. All right, so what I've got here are these uh, power tie straps that I got off of Amazon, and I'll link to them down in the description there. Um, these work perfect. Nice soft tie nylon. The way I like to strap them, and you can search all over YouTube, and guys will tell you different ways. This works for me, and it works beautifully. Take it around the fork, right where the fender comes in, with the soft end, and then strap it down to the uh, the hook on the trailer. That way, nothing but soft stuff is touching your bike. All right. I always do the uh, kickstand side first. That way I can pull it the other direction with the, the other strap. Just want it to be fairly tight. You don't want it yanking the, the forks apart, but plenty enough. And honestly, these two front straps, that is all you need to tow this bike. But I brought a couple of smaller straps to put on the back because last thing you want is that back tire to go bouncing on you side to side. So I just put the smaller ones on the back tire or uh, back frame to the back hooks. Don't snug them up super tight, just enough to stop the bike from bouncing. But these two front straps are more than enough to hold this bike right in place. It's, basically becomes part of the trailer at that point and it's not going anywhere see how level I got that not bad at all one little extra there we go that should do it um, I'm gonna throw the back straps on I'm gonna take the ramp and slide it back in where it goes make sure everything's locked down and, uh, and we'll be good to hit the road here. One hour later. All right, so we popped inside to have a quick beer before uh, we hit the road here and the sun went down on us while we were inside. So anyhow, I'm gonna finish strapping the back of the bike down here because the uh, tailpipe was hot on the other side so I didn't strap that one down yet. And uh, I'm gonna throw a GoPro on the back of the car here so you can see how the thing tows and we're gonna head on down the road, jump on the interstate and uh, get my buddy's bike home for him.
All right, so the specs on the trailer. This is an Aluma MC1F. It is the folding model of the single motorcycle trailer that they have. Um, it actually comes in at around 450 pounds. It has a bed size of 51 inches by 106. Standing upright right now in the garage, it's 96 inches. Um, that'll be your headroom that you got when you stand this thing up. It's got 13 inch aluminum wheels. Also has a 2,000 pound torsion axle with the Easy Lube hubs. Um, with all that, it does it, it gives you a uh, 1,550 pound payload capacity, and it comes with a two inch coupler. Um, any other information you want about the trailer, I'm sure you can get right off the Aluma uh, website. Um, from what I can tell, they do not sell directly. Aluma only sells through dealerships, um, so you can find a dealership near you. Um, that'll carry it to get the price. I checked one near me here before I started recording this and right now I can get a brand new one for around $2,800. Again, I bought mine used, paid less than half of that. So just keep your eyes open because they do not pop up very often on the used market. Um, they are all aluminum, top to bottom, um, except for the axle, of course. Um, and uh, they definitely handle the weather just fine. So I hope this has been informative. And again, please, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment. We'd really appreciate it.